Have you ever encountered a situation where you needed to add data with an object but you were concerned about the object's garbage collection or perhaps you wanted to store a collection of object without preventing them from being cleaned by the garbage collector well that's where weak map and weak set comes to play hello and welcome to this video on weak map and weak set by intellipath in this video we will explore weak map and weak set in depth we will understand the differences from regular map and set and most importantly we will learn how you can use them also i would like to request you guys to enable both the subscribe button and the bell icon for intellipath youtube channel to never miss out on any updates coming from our team so let's start with today's topic weak map and weak set so basically in javascript we have two types of references which is strong and weak so basically what is this references references is nothing but just like a pointer so in c++ we have a concept of pointers but in javascript we have the concept of uh, references over here we have a uh, strong references and weak references inside strong references we have set and map in which we already know about how set and map work in our daily life right in weak references we have weak map and weak set so in today's video we are going to discuss about weak map and weak set starting with what is weak map so weak map is just a way to map your object with any primitive data type so basically weak map stores your value into a key value pairs so here the key value will be your object and the whatever the object you are mapping it will be your primitive data type the only catch over here is your key values will be different for all the mapping purposes okay so let's try to understand how you can implement your weak map first so first of all in the example in the left hand side you can see that uh, first of all i have declared one variable and by using a constructor i have created one new weak map make sure uh, your weak map here is your object so you have to call it okay so also this is a keyword so make sure the font and case of this particular uh, keyword is same then i have created one empty object and in the next line i have used dot set method to map that particular object with some primitive data type so over here i have taken string you can take anything okay apart from that whenever we are using our weak map there is no you know methods to iterate through it okay so there are some methods which uh, it supports and there are few things that it doesn't we will talk about it later now this video but first of all let's try to understand what are the differences between map and weak map we all know about how map works but when it comes to weak map weak map differs a little bit from a map let's try to understand that so whenever we are talking about the map map is basically an unordered list but you can store any kind of data inside it such as string boolean numbers etc but when we come to a weak map it is also an unordered list but you cannot store any kind of data inside it you can just store or you can only map objects in it as we all know maps are iterable we can directly create one key value and iterate through the whole map but when it comes to weak map there are no options of iteration because you cannot use the loops over there moving on when we talk about the map garbage collector does not remove mapped data even if you are not using your map okay but when it comes to weak map once your reference is deleted your pointer is also deleted let's say you are mapping your value with something and you are assigning that particular data to null then in that case your key values will also be lost we will try to uh, understand that with a practical example later on after that map is also created using a constructor so we basically use new map to create a map and similarly for a weak map we use new weak map to create a weak map i hope the differences between map and weak map is now clear to you now let's move to our vs code and try to see how you can implement your weak map so here i am inside my vs code i have already created one folder as weak map weak set and inside that i'll be creating one file as weak map dot js now as we have seen in the syntax what we basically do when we are creating a 
map or you can say a weak map is we create a variable first and inside that we initialize our weak map right so first of all i'm creating i'm taking let map is equal to new weak map like this so my weak map is now initialized now what i do i create some objects so it's not necessary you create an empty object Right now, I'm creating an object as a user1 is equal to, and I'm giving some arbitrary values over there. So, we already know how to create an object, right? So, I'm creating a variable as name, and inside that, I'm storing a name as John. And similarly, I'm creating one more user as user2, or you can say object as user2, and inside that, I'm Again, storing some name as do. Okay. Now, what we will do, we will try to map this particular object with some variable. Okay. So, you can take any kind of data type over there. Here, I'll be taking strings. Okay. So, let's say map dot set. Here, this map represents this variable and set is a method. Okay. Now, over here inside the set method you have to mention the object name so that is user1 and whatever the data you want to map it with so let's say added data for user1 like this and similarly i'm copying this particular part down i'm also mapping my user2 like this and over here we will be having user2 okay so now uh Let's say I'm consoling this. So let's say console dot log. No, I did it. He made sure that the last time this is shot. I did my double barrel stamp of people in my image. Yes. Map dot get. Now get is again a method. Okay. So over here, let's say user one. Now let's just try to run this program. Okay. So you can see over here, you can get the data, whatever the data you have mapped it. You can get it over here like this. Now let's see if I am uh, making my user one as null. What happens in that case? So I'm just copying this particular part down and pasting it over here. So what do you think uh, the output will be? You can pause this video right here and you can comment your answers in the comment section. Now uh, let's just try to run this again. So you can see first one is printing added data for user one and the next line is printing undefined so are you getting what is happening over here as soon as i'm setting my user one as null this data is also lost so this is how garbage collection work in case of weak map i hope the weak map concept is now clear to you now let's move on to our weak set so starting with what is weak set so weak set is just similar to our weak map. The only difference over here is here you can only take objects, nothing else. Okay, so whenever you want to add anything to your weak set, you can only add objects over here. The creating a weak set is also similar to how we create a weak map. Over here again, we have taken one variable. Inside that we have initialized our new weak set and then you can use add method to add the data to it. Okay. So here I have just added a empty object to it. You can add anything over here. We will see with the example. Again, you cannot, you know, iterate through your set just like you can do it in a normal set. Again, uh, weak set does not support, you know, iteration through it or you can say the keys object and all that. It does support add, has and delete. We will uh, try to see the real life implementation of it as well. Has basically returns you or true or false whether the data is inside the weak map or not. Okay. Moving on, let's also see the differences between set and weak set. Starting with set can store any kind of values including primitive data types and object anything. But the only catch over here is the set includes the unique values inside it. Okay. But when it comes to weak set, it only works with the, you know, objects. So it is only restricted to the objects. So whenever you are dealing with the objects specifically, you can go with the weak set. 
Apart from that, you can set the size of your particular set. You can define whatever length of set you want. But in case of weak set, there is no specific size mentioned. You cannot restrict the size of your weak set. Moving on, whenever we are dealing with insertion and deletion inside our set, it basically is stored in a sub sequence. So it is very easy to fetch the data whenever you are, uh, you know, making use of our set. But when it comes to weak set, there are no sequence. So you cannot guarantee anything, uh, any specific order of your output. Okay. Apart from that, the initialization process of weak set, weak map, set and map is similar. So we basically make use of our constructor. So new set function is basically how you create your set and similarly for weak set we have new weak set i hope the difference between set and weak set is now clear to you now let's move back to our vs code and try to implement this now i'm back in my vs code i'm creating one more file over here as weak set dot js okay i'm closing this terminal for now because we don't need it Right now, okay. Now over here, let's start by initializing my weak set. So is equal to set. Let set is equal to new weak set. Now after that, we will create few objects. So let's say let uh, let uh, okay. So I'm copying this object from here itself, okay, and I'm pasting it right over here. So I have two objects. Now let's just try to add this particular data inside my set. Okay, so it's a set add user one and similarly set dot add user two. Fine. So now uh, let's just uh, check whether the data is inside my uh, set or not. So let's say console dot log set dot has user one so uh, make sure that a uh, weak set does not have any property to you know print the data so you cannot like directly use key method and get the data okay so it only has has add and delete okay so let's just uh, try to run this so over here you can see it's giving me true if i just clear my console and run this again okay over here you can see it it's giving me true because user one is inside my weak set now what I'll do, I'll just, uh, you know, delete my user one from the list. Okay. So let's just do that. Let's say user one is equal to none. Well, so on, like this. Now let's try to console this. Now I have set my user one as null, but I haven't deleted this particular data. Okay. So I haven't like removed my user one from the uh, set. Now let's just try to run this. So you can see it is giving me the false because I have set my user one as null and it is now removed from my set as well. I hope the concept of weak set is now clear to you. So if you like this video, do follow Interdebat YouTube channel, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in next one. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers a full stack developer course which enable you to learn tech stack from both front end and back end. Through this course, you will gain hands on experience with the skills and technologies such as SQL, Java, data structure, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Node.js and React under the guidance of industrial professionals. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonial on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without doubt, this course can set your careers to new height. So visit the course page link given in the description and take the first step towards a career growth with the full stack developer course.